Welcome everyone to the first stop after the CKW World Tour CKW Revengeance and we start off here tonight with a rematch from a tryout match that happened before the World Tour. Both Taunt and Smitty Adams try out on a house show prior to us doing the World Tour. Both of them tore the house down, made the fans go insane. I hired both of them, but neither of them could officially have started till we got back to the States after the World Tour. During that tryout match, Taunt got a barely, barely got a victory with a roll-up pin, and Smitty Adams is not letting that loss down. He called out Taunt in their first official match here in CKW after being hired as they rematch with each other. Taunt wanting to beat Smitty Adams again. Smitty Adams wanting revenge. The opening match here tonight in Raleigh, North Carolina. Let's get it on. My God, folks, we are on the final stretch of CKW Season 2. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Detroit, Michigan. Playing in at 195 pounds. Topic. And our first match here is a double debut of Taunt and Smitty Adams, both officially being hired in the CKW. We are back from the World Tour, everybody. I hope you all enjoyed the months it took us to travel around the world. But we are back here in the States. We're back here in America, Raleigh, North Carolina, the PNC Arena. And our first match is a rematch from their tryout match. Taunt has a lot to prove. Smitty Adams wants revenge. What a better way to start a pay-per-view called Revengeance. And his opponent from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 238 pounds, Smith. Smitty Adams says that roll-up pin was cheap, and it was... <laughs> he got his victory in that trial match stolen after that roll-up pin. And he's called out Taunt on numerous occasions, won another match. Taunt obviously obliged, <laughs> and we're going to see these two go at each other once again. That match at the house show was pretty damn you know, back and forth for those of you that have not seen it. So, uh, round two, let's go again. Here we go, folks. Smitty Adams, Taunt, start the show off. And Taunt catches him. Oh, tries to catch him with a kick to the gut, but gets reversed and punched to the gut. Bye. And then Taunt taking him to the corner. And they're just holding each other. Oh, and a cheap slap across the face. And the referee... Oh! Holy crap! Drops him! A cheap slap there from Smitty Adams. He gets a... Almost got... I thought he was going to get a roll up pin of his own there. And then catches him with a one-armed powerbomb. The fans here booing Smitty Adams. He is not a fan favorite, even though there are some fans of his. Taunt getting beaten down. But Taunt gets the reversal and catches him with a Luthez press. And he's <laughs> and Taunt literally tells. I don't know if he's just telling Taunt, like Smitty Adams from behind or telling the crowd to suck it. Oh, jeez. Oh, reversal kick. And a clothesline into the corner from Taunt, who then stomps and crushing the throat of Smitty Adams. And then dances it off. I mean, for us, let's be, fun, let's be fair here. For a man as fairly skinny as Taunt, he has muscles. More muscles than probably some of our most jacked wrestlers size-wise in this company. <laughs> oh, when he kicks out at barely a one count. Almost a one count. It was like a .5 count. 
and he goes over oh, reversal from Smitty Adams throws Chon into the corner oh and a punch to the gut and the fans here there's some fans getting on their feet oh and, and another punch and he has them up for a well I would assume that'd be kind of a pile driver I thought he was gonna go for a freaking brain buster there but he dropped him on his head with a pile driver and he gets outside the ring but he doesn't have enough time before Taunt recovers with a few strikes of his own throwing him back into the ring he's telling him to get up he goes up top oh Jesus Christ he hit the referee oh and a kick Smitty Adams capitalizing on Taunt trying to recover from attacking the ref the referee is down where in the world is he go he's going up top oh Jesus Christ he jumped holy sh he literally got freaking he jumped up and got elbowed across the face oh holy like oh my god he got up and got elbowed across the damn face he didn't even see that one coming and gets thrown outside the ring and now we got Adams here just telling all the fans off ooh and a punch and he has him up for a body drop and he gets back in the ring we got taunt here is he going for a is he going for a count out victory here he can get a second victory over smitty but i think he expects him to get bigger he's just showing off of the crowd here right now and a kick oh no knee to the gut or elbow to the knee and he puts up he put up he has it sharp 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 jesus christ holy hell well, it looks like Smitty won his re He got his revenge. He got his revenge. <laughs> oh, God, I can't believe I said that pun. But Smitty Adams has now won his official debut, beating Taunt after freaking elbow diving him in the goddamn head, jumping off the freaking turnbuckle, and getting dropped on his goddamn face there. He gets in the ring, he attacks Taunt, puts him in a sharpshooter, and makes him tap out in like five, six seconds. Okay. My God. We start off the show with a big debut for Smitty Adams. Making a win. Going into the rest of the season. And we got fans here actually now cheering him, which I'm actually kind of surprised. 